Hi students, this is reading video number seven to go along with our distance English practice. Um, this reading goes along with the morning reading packet, the morning homework packet um, for my morning class. However, if you are not in my class and you don't have the packet, you can still follow along with this video, make a note of any new vocabulary that you are finding, um, practice putting that vocabulary into a sentence, leave me any questions in the comments below. Um, if you are reading and this is a little bit too difficult for you, jump over to the, the slightly lower level for the afternoon English class, my afternoon reading practice, and um, listen to that story first. Then come back to this more difficult story um, and push yourself to that higher reading level. If you're ready, let's begin. This article is called Burger King's Impossible Whopper Trades Beef for a Veggie Burger. Published by the Washington Post. Published on April 15th, 2019. Burger King's quarter pound Whopper sandwich was introduced more than 50 years ago. It pushed other burger restaurants to create their own big hamburgers. Now Burger King plans a vegetarian version of its signature sandwich. The Impossible Whopper was introduced in April and is being sold at Burger King restaurants in Missouri. Burger King's vegetarian burgers use plant-based patties. They were developed by San Francisco Bay Area company Impossible Foods. Burger King's plan could be a big deal. It might push other fast food burger companies to offer more meat alternatives. The new vegetarian burger comes at a time when beef is causing problems for the planet. Cows are well known for adding methane to the atmosphere. Methane is a major cause of global warming. The Impossible Whopper has hurdles to pass. If the Impossible Whopper succeeds in Missouri, the company says it will expand the vegetarian burger nationwide. That means it would be sold at 7,200 of its restaurants. Such a move would make Burger King the clear king of the fake meat burger. White Castle sells an Impossible Slider at its more than 370 locations. Red Robin has just introduced an Impossible Cheeseburger at its 570 restaurants. This year, Carl's Jr. rolled out the Beyond Famous Star at more than 1,000 of its locations. It is a vegetarian version of its signature burger with a plant-based patty from Beyond Meat. Burger King will have to decide whether to expand the Impossible Whopper across the country. It will have a few difficult tests to pass. For starters, the vegetarian version will cost nearly a dollar more than the original Whopper. That is a big increase in the fast food market. The Impossible Whopper will also have to deal with people who have doubts about vegetarian burgers. What's more, Impossible Foods upset People for the Ethical Treatment of Animals, PETA, last year. The animal rights group took issue with what seems to be Impossible Foods' contradictory view of animals. Impossible Foods says it wants to save the lives of countless animals. However, the company tests its products on laboratory rats. Passing the taste test. Burger King does have one advantage with the Impossible Burger. The patty will be based on Impossible's new 2.0 version. The company announced it this year, the tech magazine CNET said. The new patty, CNET said, can hold together better. That's important since patties might receive rough treatment in a fast food environment. The company's latest vegetarian patty is also good enough to fool taste testers, it seems. A CNET reporter sampled the Impossible Burger. It was grilled at a Burger King and switched for the usual beef in a Whopper. The remarkable thing was how unremarkable they were, Brian Cooley wrote. Nothing gives away the fact that this Whopper contains a different main ingredient. A Veggie Burger Rivalry Burger King has a chance to make the Impossible Whopper a success. If it does, the big question is what will McDonald's do in response? McDonald's has more than three times the sales of Burger King in the United States. McDonald's does have a McVegan burger for sale, 
but only in Finland and Sweden in Northern Europe. If history is a guide, McDonald's could be pushed to introduce its own vegetarian burger. Ray Kroc is the man who turned McDonald's into a giant fast food company. He wrote a book in 1977 called Grinding It Out, The Making of McDonald's. In the book, he wrote, The Big Mac resulted from our need for a larger sandwich. The Big Mac was made to keep up with Burger King's Whopper, he said. Could history repeat itself? How was this story for you? Did you find new vocabulary? Let me know any new vocabulary in the comments under the video. Practice putting that new vocabulary into sentences. And I hope to see you soon in my class or here on my channel. Goodbye, students.